Hello, good evening everyone. Um, I got a very nice story today and I need to share it with you because it has a really lovely message which in this message is very important so um, we have to read it. But first of all, um, let me introduce myself for those ones who are new to this channel. My name is Maya, I'm a writer, I love children, um, I'm looking after them a lot as a nanny. Um, I love meditation and um, I really love fairy tales. So I put all of these um, um, passions together and I create very special audio meditative fairy tales which are um, great for adults and for children. So children can learn how to breathe deeply in a very playful way. Uh, chil um, children also can um, release their um, stre daily stress situa situations and they can talk um, with the flower fairy Flora. She will take your um, issues and problems and everything. And this is very great combinations for parents as well, because if um, children cooperate loudly, uh, you can support them very well. And if you listen this story with them, that means that you are a great sample for um, um, techniques which um, somehow should be... Um, with you and with your children on a daily basis. So that's a great um, base for um, great and happy life. So if children practice um, meditations or something, some other techniques can um, have, this is great base for, for their life. But yeah, um, this is shortly about me and about my um, work. But now let's read this story um, about little lost duckling. Um, so we will meet this little duckling. She didn't... Um, actually, she wants to find her own way home. So prepare your ears, prepare your hearts and... Um, Listen <laughs> and of course enjoy. So let's see. Um, one sunny morning, Mother Duck led her four new ducklings down to the old pond. Stay close, little ones, she told them. But one little duckling didn't listen. Follow me, my babies, called Mother Duck as she swam away, but one little duckling didn't do as she was told. She didn't want to follow her mother across the water. She wanted to dart after the dragonflies, watch the frogs hopping, hooping on the lily pads, and chase the glistering fish. So that's just what little duckling did. She splashed into water and frightened the fish. She snapped her little break at the dragonflies. She quacked in amazement when the beautiful kingfisher flew by. After a while, little duckling was tired of playing. She scrambled up onto the grassy bank and fluffed out her feathers to dry. Around her, the wind whispered in the grass. The leaves rustled, rustled, and overhead the sky grew dark. Little Duckling realized she was all alone. Little Duckling looked out across the pond. Mother Duck was nowhere to be seen. Suddenly, Little Duckling wanted to see her mother very much indeed. Just then, Hitchcock came shuffling by. Have you seen my mummy? asked Little Duckling. But Hitchcock just shook his head and carried on hunting for juicy worms to eat. So Little Duckling walked 
a little further down the bank until she met Squirrel. Have you seen my mummy? she asked again. But Squirrel was too busy collecting acorns to even answer, so Little Duckling had to carry on walking. She hadn't gone far, very far before she met Rabbit. Who are you? the rabbit asked. I am a lost duckling and I'm looking for my mummy. Then you should stay by the water or Mr. Fox will get you, said Rabbit. And with a flash of his white tail he disappeared beneath the ground. Little duckling wasn't feeling very brave at all now. She quacked, quacked loudly, hoping her mummy might hear her. I wouldn't do that if I were you, said Squeaky Voice. Mr. Fox might hear you. It was Mouse. Oh dear, oh dear, chipped Little Duckling. Please help me find Mother Duck. But the mouse had scurried away. Just then, a big furry beaver scrambled onto the bank. Hrum, he grunted. What a little duckling like you doing here all on your own? I'm lost and I'm looking for my mummy, wailed the poor little duckling. Is she a nice brown cuddly mummy? asked beaver. Who told you always to stay close by her side? Little Duckling nodded sadly. Then you'll find her looking for you over by those reeds, said Beaver. Mummy, quacked the Little Duckling happily. I promise to never wander off again. And do you know what? She never ever did. So, that's a story about um, the little lost duckling. It was written by Sue Baraclough and it was illustrated by Simon Mendes. This lovely story has a very strong message. Message about that, that is very important to listen what your parents say or any other adults who take care of you. So um, it's important because they, um, they are actually, they want to um, give you advices and they want to protect you from um, some things which are not good or great. So it is important to listen and um, it is important to stay close to your parents when you are somewhere out of the um, house and so um, this is it for today very welcome to subscribe uh, if you watch this on youtube very welcome to like this page flower periflora very welcome to leave some comment and of course very welcome to check um, audio meditative uh, fairy tales with flower periflora you will find them on the link below so enjoy your evening and see you soon. Good night. Mwah.